Good evening to you. Hoping you guys have had a fantastic week, a fantastic day, rather. And you are ready for some tea. Welcome uh, right here for, you know, a chit chat. My name is Philip Zin, and I have the gang gang right here in studio joining me. But before we meet them, get on that hashtag, chit chat. We have a post on our social media pages. Do comment, Utambi not watch Ukiwa Wafi. And of course, at the end of the show, we are going to send some love and some salams your way. Vile Inafa. Amani Aze. All right, let's meet my co host for today, starting right here. Amani Aze Nampotevu. Aze Nampotevu. Okay, so. Let's have a seat. Hey, I know my mother says that she's going to go. Lazima. No, I just want to say, you know, you guys remember the guys at home who follow this show. Munajua na semangawa se ona vanga uniform. Always, hope you get a sim. Look at this. What is this? You know, my mom was Subaru boys, whatever, half jackets, all of them. Nigga, what was now called a Subaru queen? So I'm just like, what is happening? What is going on? I'm not going to get a sim. I'm not going to get a sim. I mean, as a blame, honest. Honest always video calls me. Which man video calls the other man? For God's sake. So you may know this I didn't give you. Munajua dress code. Mimi, yeah. you leave me outside. So when you come, I'm like, wow, you guys, you guys. I, I think next time, mm -hmm. let's do like. Um, you get to suit, man. Get to suit, you get suit. Are you okay with the suit, man? I don't mind. I don't get to suit. I don't Sounds mind at all. Mm -hmm. But anyway, welcome to the show. People missed you. Where were you? I know, I know, I know. Oh, what's up, my people? I've been away. Of course, uh, I was in a mission or on a mission to uh, build the nation. But right now, I'm back. So mm. don't go nowhere because we're about to get this party cracking. Okay. And right next to him is our DJ, our favorite DJ right here. Yeah, in the honest studio. Bantu. Mm -hmm. Tuko hapa the Slim Daddy, manze. Yeah. Tuko hapa hivi tumekule pija noona, na sababu na itua Slim Daddy. <laughs> Karibu ni noona, alafu. <laughs> Karibu ustoke, manze. Tuleo tunamambo, ju. Okay. Jambo, zibana. Okay. Yeah. All right, no problem. Let's get started with our first story right here. And... On 8th of September 2022, the world received the devastating news of the reigning Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom had passed on. Her reign of 70 years was the longest of any British monarch and the second longest recorded <coughs> of any monarch of a sovereign country. Now, in, in as much as England and many nations came together to mourn her, not everyone felt the same way as a number of black Twitter users took the opportunity to mark the Queen's death as something of a moment to celebrate, the, uh, this forcing Twitter to pull down some tweets. Even some journalists had their own accounts reported, including our very own Larry Maddow. But of course, we, comp we put a video together just to uh, for the Queen, and you have that. We're going to be rolling it in a minute. Let me tell you something that comes naturally to me. When you're talking about any queen, mm -hmm. I know there are many queens across the world, but me, I just know the queen of England. So anytime you ask about the queen, I'm like, queen <laughs> of England. And uh, do you know, when, before she became king, like she, before she became the queen, her dad, the king died. And when the dad died, she was in Kenya during that time. Did mm. you guys know that? Yes, I, I remember uh, she was with the President Kenyatta by then. Mm -hmm. Jomo, right? Yes, and then also, if you're talking about queen, the only queen I know is uh, Slay Queens. Ah. Because again, <laughs> <laughs> because again, you can't get She was just a pure Slay Queen. You can't get mm. her. And I match everything, including the back of her phone. If the phone is green, if she will be in a green attire, she'll also have um, a phone that is green. And then also, I could go in Bamba Sana with the way things were running is. 
remember back then. There is a clip that was going around whereby I even saw my grandfather in the clip. Um, you saw your grandfather? Yes. Uh, How do you know that's your grandfather? You know my grandfather. <laughs> you could tell your grandfather, you know, you're young. Young, yeah. Na kimbilia food. She was throwing like food to Africans, which is very sad again. Yeah. But uh, we never celebrate someone else's death because one day, one time, we shall go the same way. Oh, yeah, I know. A lot of, a lot of people had a lot to say, including our very own Victoria Kimani. Mm -hmm. She was on her IG and she's like, why are you people mourning the queen? Like, why are you mourning? Like, I don't get it. Um, so a lot of people, black people and Irish people, Indians, a lot of people that were colonized by the British, they... Yeah, they had a lot of dark stuff to say, and they were celebrating. They're like, but but she reigned for ninety six years. So according to them, even if she's not the one who started the whole colonization in mm. these countries and the looting and all that that they believe uh, happened, they were saying she had ninety six years to correct the wrongs that were done, but she did not do anything about it. Like well, during her reign, um, uh, Ange, when she sat on that chair. She would have made sure, like um, all the all the, yes. the the colonial period. You know, used to resort in Geisha, the war would have ended. Arudisha was like just to make Africa and all these other nations stand on their own. But I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, what are we thinking? Me, I don't know. Queen, the gym, the Leon, the Leon, the Leon, who is so <laughs> 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 But let me ask you something though. Um, as Kenyans, we have close ties with the UK. Yes, yes, yes. They help. We, we are part of the. Is it Commonwealth. not the Commonwealth? Commonwealth. Yes. Yeah, Kenya is part of the Commonwealth mm. as part of the nations. Mm. So because of that, even President Uhuru, he declared uh, three days of mourning. Yeah. Flags in Afaku. Nusu. Yeah, because we are together no, with we, them. Yeah, yeah, as a person. Do you know? Ah. reason. Yeah, yeah, as a person. <laughs> kuna reason. Kuna, na, kuna vile history na misaidia. How? Yeah, How? as a person. See, it was ID. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 I think even um, Philin was talking about the way uh, the Queen was supposed to correct the wrongs. That yeah. uh, maybe what England did According to the According to rest. black Twitter. Yes. And Irish Twitter. So, it happened that... I, what were Ireland now? Say, were Kenya now? What were India? So, for once, they came together. Not what were Kenya, <laughs> the black people, because yes. oh, Nigerians had a lot to say, by the way. Where? Yeah. Like, th there was Waka. a lot. <laughs> now, South Africa, you are talking about South Malema. Africans, bro. Even Malema yes. allegedly he banned all the TV stations from speaking about it, like uh, announcing anything mm -hmm, nice mm -hmm. about like all that. She was like, We're not talking about her death, leave it as it is. Yes, she's yeah. died, she's left. Yeah. So let's uh, life continue. So King and I come and I to George Charles. I'm an Charles. No King when I'm a good job. This Charles, in a far, yes, as I correct the wrongs. Uko England were to anger me, were discriminated. Quarainia, because you are racism. A jaribu correct is of you too. So you want to dangananga to watch ball. 
Brother, I'm not going to be to be able to do it. i not to be able to do it. i to i Support <laughs> moral support. So Chelsea, what is support on But let me tell you something. Do you know how those people, a team like Arsenal, do you know how they make their money through ticket sales? What you can do on a footer? What you can do on a footer? Tickets. And I'm talking about Arsenal because they had, at some point, they had the hugest crowd. Yes. And they used to make a lot of money. Do my fans all go and all out on a just study? So they make a lot of money through tickets. Tickets are expensive. Na tickets are only expensive. Go mahe wa kichaza ata ata wa chaza kuza tickets. Do you even attend the match? Do you believe? Do you believe that Kenya ina ina do football? Kenyan football. Ni kumwe do aliba ni ni. No, but Nick Wonder has, has been reinstated. You will investigate. There's no evidence. There's no evidence. But you kitu walikuwa na sema meiba. Lazima ikuwe ni kitu inakuwanga place. Tumana wezi sema umeiba. Unajua sayi tunawangela. Right now we are talking about the Queen and how she and uh, maybe her past colonized Africans. And the same thing that was installed in you is you what you guys are still continuing with. You guys are supporting the English Premier League. Remember, we are even Africa. speaking English right now. Exactly. What is the same thing? It's the same no. thing. So, so yeah. we are <laughs> speaking <laughs> English because <laughs> we were colonized <laughs> by them yeah. in the Queen's language, ni? English. English. So they colonized us, that's why we are speaking English right now. We are going to get history wrong. Let me teach you a little history. We are going to get history wrong. Classic. Kitambo, there were missionaries before. There were missionaries. Oh, British also. Yes, British also. And now they were going to schools. So, this is English to get you, and I come to get colonized. Do you know what I'm saying? I hope I'm going to get a brutal way. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to get a little sweet. Sukari. <laughs> so, let me tell you a funny story. <laughs> let me tell you a funny story. My primary teacher used to tell us during that period when the missionaries came. We had black socks on, and we were wearing a scarf. We were So we were wearing shikwa. Mnashikwa by force. But I'm. It was nice for some reason, but I wish they didn't do that because now we see other scary with a lot of the lifestyle diseases now. But I don't know what we had. No, no. Who will you, Niniaga, your crown, Naskiadi, on a gold talk, Africa? As in, one may take a lot from us. Okay. okay, let me also school you. Mm -hmm. When you talk about colonization, mm -hmm. it's not only the people who came to oppress us, mm -hmm. it's also the people who came to, uh, to uh, with a mission. That meant uh, we used to believe in uh, the other world of Christianity. It was not the same Christianity we'll be. Um, the traditional ways of praising God, you know, under the trees or maybe facing mountains. That they came with a different Christianity to colonize us because that this is not us. The church was not but us. But they colonized they colonized the Africans. No, they brought the Bible. So you, exactly. you don't believe in the Bible? Uh, okay, the thing is right now the way we are as mm. Africans, we are colonized. So we have to believe in what we are taught. Yeah, but you have a choice. But I believe in the Bible because you because Anyway, anyway, that is, yeah, I believe in the Bible. I believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly, and the Holy Spirit it's the Bible and because it was brought to but us. But why do we believe in Africanism, yeah. African way of worshipping? Ex so who was, who, which God were they worshipping back then? Uh, every community used to have their own God. For example, the Luos, we had our Nyasai. So we had many gods. We had, we had many gods, but there was one supreme being, mm -hmm. right? So it's only that now the difference came or the differentiator came on how we were doing it. For example, um, the Kiko used, used to face. History class in session. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, carry on. The Kikuyus, <laughs> the Kikuyus used to worship uh, under the Ogumo tree, Mumbi. right? Oh. Mumbi. Mm -hmm. And also they were facing Mount Kenya. Yeah. Now, the Luos, we had our own way, the Masais, the, you know. But now when the white man came or the British came, mm -hmm. 
they came and gave us the Bible. We believed in the Bible because we were born <laughs> during that time. <laughs> okay? So I know a lot of people believe like um history was whitewashed. Yes. Like uh, a lot of we don't know a lot of people a lot of things that happened back then. Mm -hmm. To what the because most of these history books were written by white people. So they told us what they wanted us to know. To know exactly. But another thing I also what am I fan point telling me about that? It's a very serious point. And it's true point. Ah wow. <laughs> So do you? Yeah. So does the negative side man then ile in affect life yet up to date. Yeah. No, but akona positives. Kama yako tunete language yenye sa hii tunaweza bonga abroad nini? Akona but and I have a, a Twitter for, um, you know, flagging down tweets that are controversial. Like if you say anything negative about the uh, the queen, they flag your tweets. I okay. like no, no, no. What a tweet is it? Apple. Ni anga. Twitter, you are speaking out of what you are feeling. Hey, ni anga. Jam. Una ni waki tumba ya na government zingine zingi. Kama Kenya tu kona yao freedom and I thank the government of Kenya. Tunaonge anga Kenya kikondani yetu. Ikuwe na kubamba as a president ama as who you are. We don't care but kikondani yangu. Nazima ndatoa. Na hiyo nda uzuri ya Kenya. Kuna countries kama Zimbabwe, my friend. Ukiongea kitu kikongo na hiyo. Unabaniwa. So awana hile freedom of nini. Do you know we chased? But we literally chased. You guys are taking it overboard. Do you know there are some Kenyans who are like the queen. A whole queen with a crown. Like they are like shorty for colonialism. Exactly. Okay. Okay, like, you, wow. you just know Kenyans. We know mm -hmm. we are always out there to bring out a story within a story. <laughs> you so. <laughs> <take, laughs> makes fun of everything. Yeah, I come true. serious. I <laughs> know. Find a joke. <laughs> <in> <laughs> you are like, far, they're like, like in your key for you. I don't want to compile it. Why? I'm going to say, 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 Prince Charles, Prince Charles, you know, so the new queen. The new king. Queen, wow. The new queen. Who the new king? Mama, I can't live for 76 years. Mama, I can't do queen. Mama, I can't do queen. Let me tell you, just the same way we, we are looking at it, you know, it will be humorous all this. At the end of the day, there's no one who always wants uh, death or to wish death for the other person. Yeah. It's only that now we are angry. You are talking about... Yeah, but in the African setting, when someone dies, after Mwizi, even the person you know was not a good person, when they die, when you, you go to their funeral, we have lost a good person. You mourn. Akuna mtu anenanga matanga ya muizi ya nasema. Uyu alikuwa mzinga, uyu alikuwa muizi. No one says that. We respect the dead, right? So how come you're not doing that for the... Because our grandfathers were messed up. They were messed up. Did you play? Anaishi baka maisha yetu. No. Anaishi baka maisha yetu. Anaishi baka maisha yetu. Anaishi baka maisha yetu. What do you expect? Kuna mtu <laughs> Uh, yeah. 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 Our first and second president, I think they died when at 90s. Yeah, yes. but yes. But, but, I, but I, I see me 96. 96 is okay. No, there is no limit. The Bible says a Christian is 70. But, 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 but,
maisha zinaisha tena 120 kwani ni wasi wengine walikuwa wanaishi ya kwa hivi Nebukadnezar alishi 999 wewe Nebukadnezar ulimuona hizo ni Russians No, uh, uh, like, not everybody that is Russian. I would just say like, bad people don't die. Uh, the uh, good ones die young. My, uh, m- 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 the Bible says respect your mom and dad so, so that, that you are really exactly. Yeah. She respected it's the mom and dad. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's not God's will for people to die young. So nana nijua mbaya aje bora na respect my mom and dad. Na utaishi. That's the Bible is wrong. Wenda uipe wanyo. <laughs> anyway, we have to move we have to move away from that, but of course our condolences it's only right for us to send our condolences to, you know, the royal family. We have a, it's 2022. Do you know we have a black woman as part of the royal family? Megan Markle. Exactly. Ah, I to know your story. Yeah. Do you like any black bird or see black? See black. I don't know who that black. I don't know who black. Ni kama sasa kudanganya hadi Chris Brown ni black. Oh yeah, we need black. Unajua black. What is LeBron? Black. Ni neno black, ha ni black ni black. What to happen? Black like me hivi ndio black. Unajua ana. Sasa nafsema Obama vile alikuwa president. Obama is not black. Obama is not black. Mama yake ni mzungu. Black as in let us sura kama ya 50 cent hapo. Huyo ndio mtu black. Those are black people. I don't mean black. Check check. Una jua ile black una mean ni kama hii yako, si ndio? Black eh black. Ndaka chaja laptop. Sasa hiyo ndio kala inafai kwa yako. Na hiyo ndio ndio kuna watu wanaitanga black si black. We have to move. Black, unasikia kwa kusema once you go black, you don't go back. As long as you blood your black is to run kwako you're black whether at ukwe mara kali you see how light she is yeah, exactly. so she's a black woman hivyo ndo wana hivyo ndo watu wa rege walikuja ku notice bob male ni mzungu unaona ah kwa na mimi bob male ni mweusi baba yake ni mweuke mama yake ni mjamaica black ni black how wengine ni mweusi by the way why is it that okay we africans normally don't appreciate what we are because of para for example we just talked about him otile brown why would you just call yourself brown just say black or something But let me tell you something it all starts with you rappers you celebrities you've come actually that's what i'm talking about in the next story because most mm-hmm. black men you prefer light skin women you prefer white women si mnataka kuzaa watoto mapointi ama I just don't get story next. next. <laughs> You'll understand what I'm talking about. You'll like, so then now you're like, oh, you're not black enough. But then <laughs> them dark skin akikuja na vile ameweza you're like, ameweza. Lakini ni dark. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Colorism. That's why Elsa Majimbo, we're talking about Elsa Majimbo next. Now, Kenyan comedian Elsa Majimbo, who became an internet sensation due to her crisp eating skits, has now disclosed that she is not returning home anytime soon. Elsa said that Kenyans bullied her with colorist remarks after she blew up and they prayed for her downfall, adding as, uh, that as a Kenyan female comedian, one has to make fun of herself and call themselves uh, ugly if you are dark skinned in order to be accepted she told forbes that she will definitely come back to kenya to visit her family but she has relocated permanently and of course if you haven't seen any ho- or any of her videos we have a video let's just have a look i won't reply your messages but you'll see me posting memes <laughs> living without fear <laughs> you'll be on red and you'll see me on TikTok dancing. <laughs> you'll see me on Rihanna's comments. <laughs> wow, how's the baby doing? <laughs> I will not be a slave because of WhatsApp and iMessage. I won't reply your messages, but you'll see me posting memes. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that is Elsa Majimbo. And I remember Elsa, her first interview. She had a first interview, a guy interview. You know, she was like dressed well, but she was dark skin. So Kitwiliuma wa Kenya ni the fact that during her interview, Alisema like I think she said like her dowry should be like was it 20 million or 2 million? Alafa 20 million, right? Mm-hmm. So that's her dowry because you know she's pretty. Alafa kasema si una taka ngombe ngapi? He, wakanya kusema vile unakaa hivyo. Wewe na hiyo rangi yako, nani akupetwe? You see, so that is the colorism she's talking about because she's like in a, in in Kenya according to her interview with Forbes and Sema Kawe ni comedian Kenya na wewe ni mweusi, you have to make fun of yourself. Mm-hmm. Call yourself ugly, mm-hmm. watu watakupenda. But if you say me umeset standards na wewe ni mweusi, they're like 
wana vile ni mweusi unasetia nani wewe ni kienyeji bro unasetia nani standards you know so that is the alisema like uh, there are double standards like other people were appreciating her art people across even south africa while you more accept sana they they thought she was funny but kenyans are like but they jokes like us one day funny we seem funny so is she wrong to say that kenya did not accept her so she's not coming back even though right now she's famous everybody across the world knows who she is east or west home is the best this is still her home mm -hmm. at the end of the day she's a kenyan mm -hmm. yes who lives abroad ah, yeah. the other thing is maze elsa ikifikanga points zingine you don't reject your place because of other people mm -hmm. you still belong to your land this is your native land so kenyans we normally want to make jokes um to everything that comes um, maybe in the limelight. Mm -hmm. So everybody was thinking Elsa Majimbo. We are just making jokes on her. I love you, I'm serious. Oh, No, it's because we always want to be a happy nation as much as we have voted this other nation. Uh, uh, it depends on how it comes out. Yeah, oh, you are because you're black, you know, this. I don't think it's something that's supposed to, to get into. It. But isn't it true though? Do no, the person who's abusing is black. Don't most people say that? Like my yeah. name, true story, honest, like mm -hmm. uh, you just tell us the truth. Them dark skin most time. So let's talk about Okay, now take a minute test. Kila mdogo na test yake. Kuna maboy wana penda madame wa dark. Na mbola kwa videos, ma videos, na events, ma models wote ni ma light skin. Ni madame wa meji convince hivu. Lazima ukwe brown dio shine kwa video. No, no. So, I don't know. 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 Mm. The, the most holy man we know in this world, Jesus Christ. Na kila na kila yeah. Most people will hate you, most people will love you. Kuna na kuchukia with no reason. Mtu na kuona kwa zama, you day mani bambi. Na ujai mkosea, mi damu yangu na yake ya zisikizani. Wengine wana zama kutoma mm. hizo. Na kuna, kuna mbambi. Kuna mtu wana, anabambika anga duna wewe. Yani yata ajui reason, yeah. but anabambika anga na vako zako. Unawana, anataka tu vibe yako hivo. Mm -hmm. So, wewe ukiwa kwa hii dunia, usi expect positiveness kila maali. Uh, uh, People will hate you for no reason. Accept venye na kamu. Alafu ni kulize, by the way, mm -hmm. now that she's decided to be in America. Mm -hmm. So, so, Americans love her. Because they do visa. because now she's living you know a soft life but hold mm -hmm. that thought we're coming right back we're gonna take our first break right here on cheat chat we're coming right back keep talking to us the hashtag remains at cheat chat we'll be back shortly Thank you so much for staying with us. If you're just joining us right now, you are watching Chit Chat right here on YT54, your favorite youth channel. Now, if you don't know what the show is all about, we're all about gossip. We talk about trending topics that have been happening throughout the week. We do a roundup, right? My name is Philin Jean, hanging out with Anes Bantu yeah. and Ronald Royce. Yeah, we have yeah. a DJ, we have a presenter, a DJ, I and know. a rapper. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> All in one show. And a camera person. Eh, hey, <laughs> you know. But camera personality, you should see her. She's a lady. She's pretty. She's wearing pink today. Shout out to you, Majuma. You know. And then you my demo is in Pink. Do you want a pink? I will call her pink. You know, tell me about pink. Oh, but I'm not pink. pink. Mr. Kako show now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anywho, let's move on to another story. And Modli, Modli, 53, the, uh, 53 years, the founder of the Miracle Center in the north of Johannesburg, died August 15th, 2021, allegedly after falling ill. His body has been kept at, at Martin's funeral home since then, as family and friends pray for his resurrection. 
Yeah, you have that right. Now, the church has allegedly not openly acknowledged his death on social media or informed the congregation of his whereabouts. As his social media accounts, notably Facebook and Twitter, are operational and messages are posted every day as if they are posted from him and activities in church are run by his wife and children. The funeral home manager now says that he has lodged an application with the Johannesburg Magistrates Court to grant him permission to have modely buried or cremated however the matter has still not been set down as uh, has not been set down for hearing all right so that is a pastor 53 years best in johannesburg allegedly when i say he died one year ago but members of his church are jay ambiwa so in church what you work in a wife are just running things people in church think he traveled <clears throat> but reports now say he actually died a year ago ali gonjeka kidogo akakufa but sasa friends and family are praying a resurrect a rudi church so that's why facebook na twitter bado zina work watu tu wanaona bado pasi huko si ana post videos ana post photos so they think they are from him <laughs> my friend waje sikudanganya siko ba i don't know so wanangoja fufuke hata sisi bina hiya jeva wanyonyi alienda sijui lini but now what you are rude but yeah unajua the good thing is Jehovah when you was not on facebook or twitter or anything mm -hmm. so we know that he went he went to be there with with the, with the lord right and then we know that for sure yes he died he died he okay. died but just know there's no one who will come out and tell us he died no well, because right? he, he said he was god exactly he just god can die <laughs> and then the other part is i don't know what is happening i'm sorry to mention again i don't know what's happening with the the south african um uh, christianity or religion i don't know because most of the controversies come from that country for instance yeah you remember there was a pastor who said that he could be able to raise the dead yeah and someone mtu mwenye alikufa akamushwa the first thing alikuwa anajua ni mali mdomo iko na mali kijiko iko you remember he, were, he asked for food and people were celebrating but people like honestly don't joke with god do you know that person later died alirudi saka kufa ukweli he died not the pastor see it was say that the pastor alimfufua mm -hmm. alimwambia kaamka kaitisha food and everything he didn't live long after that he uh, now actually died na pastor kumfufua tena yeah. kila country inafaiye ke law fulani ya ku respect God. Ni kama hakuna law kwa countries ka zote watu waheshimu Mungu. No, there's freedom of worship. Yeah, hiyo yeah, freedom of worship imeleta mambo mengi. Azi nimeza vitu mingi zenye hadi Mungu amekosewa heshima. Na ni everywhere ya Kenya tulikuwa na sijui ni bali kitaja hata majina pastor fulani atio ana sijui Wait, so you don't believe in the power of resurrection? See, ah, Jesus kuna. died and Only he came Jesus back to life. Only Jesus ali resurrect, ali resurrect, na ni alikuwa na power ya ku ya kufufua watu. Eh, hakuna mtu wa mtu amekufa na akarudi. Wow. I'm serious. They usually do never, only that never. after I'm a fufuka waongeangi. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't tell stories. This is a story show so go and pay out to them. I'm serious. Like, why do you help me out here? <laughs> it's true. Like, when you, I'm uh, not even lying to you. Like, people, people die. And then, like, it's very dumb. I'm not even lying to you. 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 I'm Exactly. Na ni Jesus yeah. kama yeye mwenyewe alif, alifufuka yeye alikuwa na power za kufufua. Wacha na hao watapeli wako hapa hii dunia. Sasa daka tu. Wacha nikuulize filin. Huyo mtu anafufua mtu au holy is he or she? Mwenye ana na power kufufua mtu. Yeye mwenyewe yeah, 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 Christian but, 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 no, but I'm a Christian mm -hmm. but I do not seek God to the level that he does. Some people really just go after God's own heart. Like they 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 are, they are all about God and the Holy Spirit like uh, overwhelms them, overpowers them. So they, in that during that period you have a lot of Do you know we were given authority? Ni vile tu sisi we don't know how to exercise that authority. Do, do like we were given authority to do a lot. Do you believe in life after death? Of course. Then why would you want to resurrect someone? <laughs> because, <laughs> because <laughs> like we said, Kostoria Kwanza, it's not God's will for people to die young. But ni mwana. Don't believe time yango ijafika. Ni mwana ni kwa nini church imejawa mama kushinda wanaume. Yeah, exactly. No, you understand. <laughs> no, <laughs> They're always in the spirit. Cause, cause, Wait, let me ask you. You, 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 you believe, guys don't believe in the Holy Spirit. You believe too much. Kushinda hata mwenye alileta hiyo Bible. Una believe wala kushinda mwenye alikaa na Bible. 
you believe too much on things mm -hmm. that. Oh, believe in the Holy Spirit. See, I kufufu amtu. Things. Let me see there. We have done water into wine. No, no. Apa you never believe? You go to my millionaire. I'm going to know. Come on, I'm a queen. I'm going to know your Holy Spirit. No, no, queen. I was like, you go to the desert. It's not Holy Spirit. I'm going to know. As you know, I'm going to know. Surely, I'm going to be a matter of life and death. What we're going to do? Exactly. I only want to appreciate the inafan. Nikiomba mungu vizuri sita kufa. Nikiomba tu vizuri imu akamzima. Uwa mtu, mtu ataomba. Asikufe mwana. Mtu ataokoka. Ah, Masi zi labda ujuangi mwenda kudai. Ndiyo nasema. Mm -hmm. Awa tu wanazijuanga watafufuana ama watafaya nini. <laughs> Kama wange kwa, kwa kwa hivyo. Wata nini ngeamua na nini mungu nipatie yu power. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I think. <laughs> I think Philip, even for him, we should even uh, get his history first. Kama mm -hmm. fufu mse kwa chachi yao, mm -hmm. then that's why people are still waiting for him to resurrect. Now, but you know, sometimes people are in denial. Have you ever had a loss so huge that you kubali? I think some may die. Yeah, like, uh, I know, but it's denial. natural. It's but natural. at the end of the day, na dia kila mtu a kwa i dunia i guess kila mtu a may lose someone. Yeah important kwa life yake whether friend father mother nini daughter hivyo so we believe at that time but with the time uta believe yeah. now to believe una you start the healing process sasa wewe umekaa pale unatokea maiti jo inanuka jo lakini upasa na vaa na vaa tu biboko if i told the, the family still having the same family na vaa biboko si eh hata yeye pia na vaa he made them believe that he can resurrect that's the problem inafaa tu chapo tu mwenye hunyo Anyway, I'm, going, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't yeah. know what you guys think. You can talk to us in our socials at White Fefo Channel. We're sampling those comments at the end of the show. But right now, let's talk about another happy story. Yeah, a happy story now. Now, singer Nameless and his wife, Wahoo Kagwe, are celebrating 17 years since their wedding. Now, Wahoo noted that they got married 17 years ago after eight years of dating. And the two have been together in total actually for 25 years. Do you guys know that? Mm. And well, who is who is now pregnant with their third child noted that a popular magazine back then said the two will not last two years. And here they are. They have withstood the taste of time. We have a video. Baby, you inspire me. Inspire me. Inspire me. Baby, nothing's any kick was a cause you inspire me. You inspire me. Oh, deadly, shapeless, sexy, especially when you're moving around to the sound. You come around even. Okay, let's go. One. What do you want me to drink? <laughs> Marriage is a scam. Marriage is a scam. Look at that. And they are both in entertainment. Now you want to learn some language to entertainment or is it last? Some of the language you know. I don't know why you guys are blowing this story out of proportion. What do you mean? Jay-Z and Beyonce have been there for the past 40 but years. But you don't know me. them. Kila nameless, we know them. Who should you tell like Jay-Z? I'm a rapper. So now that look up to someone. I'm a rapper. Nameless, in fact, David Madenge, for that matter. Okay, it's, um, I think, let me just say, oh, it's good, 17 years. <laughs> And then the other thing is uh, now they're celebrating. I think they're going to have their third kid, right? Mm -hmm. Which is also a plus, which is good. And then also this also shows us that um, in marriage, if you are faithful to, to each other, then you guys can go a long way. 
And then the second born came. From mm-hmm. time like Nimkuba, she I think she's almost like I don't know, maybe probably the same age. Twenty, 20 something. No. To me, that's just got twenty. What's wrong with you? Come on, you've been married seventeen. Twenty and a half. She's <laughs> probably sixteen or fifteen. I've known her for twenty know. years. Eh? And then the other one is probably five years or something. Then this one also. And then this other one is on the way. Una jipe a time, eh? Una jipe a time, una enjoy my shine, ni ni ni. But honest, you have something to say about that? Yeah, manze wanza nameless ani. Bam bam bam. Ani mene is Jojo. I wanna to day him come me me Jojo. So I wanna ibari na wanna to ni ni ni. I love Mrs. Celeb. Mrs. Celeb. Na pia si tu meka ten years. Ni ya ato wa to celebrate. Lakini sawa tu. Aje tuambia. Una nasa una kwa. Amu to celebrate na si tu meka ten years. kuna challenges saa do our challenges mingi zenye zinatupata sisi azijawapata unajua kuna different types of challenges <laughs> naona hawa na challenges tu zingine zao wenye wanajua but sisi ghetto challenges zetu kwanza ni do the wao na kosa do wife wa kucheza marriage na isha wajua sasa ina nayo watu hiyo wanakuhepa eh, watu hiyo wanakuhepa <laughs> wife anaenda na watoto unabaki one man unaona yani pesa ndio inaletanga issue kwa marriage za mtaani but hawa wana hiyo shida but unajua sasa wote ni maseleb eh hawajakuwa hiyo shida maseleb wa who probably she had a lot of men hitting on her nameless my name kila okay kuna kuna stories pia zili coming through yeah. siwa wale wana imagine chege chege galera ma story ule chege wa tz mm. kuna kuna stories zili kujanga hapo nyuma yeah. uh, but ni venye wako hawapendi kiki yeah. yeah vitu zao wana solve wana solve poa juzi wali wali ya picha fb amepiga picha na prezo watu walijaribu kuongea ongea ru story story hapo lakini wana haikuleta issue yeah. man gani mimi bibi yangu ameshikwa hivyo na prezo wajua tena tungeleta noma mm-hmm. tunakuanga hivyo so understanding ndio ina matter hapo <laughs> so you just you have to know your person eh jua mtu wako hata hata mtu trust hata ukimwona ukimwona na nani unajua huyo mimi vile namjua haezi do anything nataka kuniambia kuna mtu hapa hajai cheat
Kohewa. Oh, Kohewa. Oh, Kohewa. Oh, Kohewa. Oh, Kohewa. Oh, anyway, so <laughs> let's move on to another story. And a Kenyan woman hilariously took to TikTok to show how shiny her nonstick pots looked after her new house girl cleaned them. Nyox 18 was in disbelief as she wondered whether she was to blame for not showing the new girl how things are done around the house. We have a video. Let's have a look. <laughs> The house manager ame fanya ile kitendo. Ame kumud. Nonstick. Ndiyo hizo zina shine mo shine mo shine mo shine. Guy. Mo shine. Ini kama kidogo imekata kuleta mo shine. Guy. Hizi zime shine video. Hii kwanza inangau na heza jiangalia na yo. Jesus Christ. What do you do when you find... Uh, your house manager, I'm a shiny video, you are non-stick like this. Is it your problem? Makosa ni yako. Huku muambia, ama makosa ni yana. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Ini mecheka tuju, sasa sita lia. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> well, okay. Trust me, you're excited for that one, but I'm just wondering. Jamini. Kasura, I want to know. Kasura, I want to know. I want to lose a feeling. I remember even back then, uh, my grandmother, my mother, my aunties. Walikuwa kona sugua sufuria. Aluminium. Hey, my friend. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa na chokapo kama ina shine. Ona ina ina fegi andani. Ile ina kwa ngai na shine. Sufuria ina kama mpya. But you see, so the reason why and stick is good. Ukipika, ata food ikiungua. That's why it's called ay, nasty. Ay, she, you know. Yeah. But sasa zile za kitambo. Upika tu vizuri, ishike chini. It will take you weeks. <laughs> 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 I'm playing hard. And then what you are, what our mothers used to do is, mm -hmm. unukona subwa paka nyungu. The way nyungu is black. Una subwa paka na pasuka. So I'm trying to imagine, <laughs> ha, aki subwa nonstick. Bro, na kwa mbele pigia wenzake home. Oh, mama, ni mchafu. Mama, ni mchafu. Unaifa uwane sufuri. Sufuri ya zimangua zote. Sufuri ya zote ni black. Aki pati ya kupikia. Aki kuna moja ime nishinda. Ni mejaribu. I think, ali chukwa paka nini? Kijiko. Ngrrr. Ya kusatua. Eh, zile zikuwa zimekupa. Nye mu understand ube. Hii ni situation inefanyikia kila mtu. Kila mtu alikuwa mshamba. At one point or the other. Ata mpaka saai. Kwa mtu ujui. Eh, alafu unaka muna chanuliwa. Kukosa kujua imanishi ni. Mina kumbuka manze jo mtani ya tuku wanga na DVD. Tuki grow manze. Mina enda kwa naibana sikia wachizango mazaniyo. Eh, na shino DVD ni kitu metoka heaven ni. But say yana inanibawa ujuni kwa nana kwa wangu. Kuna watu tuja grow hata na mbulu kwa house. Ndiyo? Yeah. Si ati ni 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 situation ude ma metoka api uta kuta ni ma metoka api kanti. Mtu gani ushe ifanya embarrassing evo like out of ushamba. Si ati jini. Nini? I'll tell you mine in a few. Go boy. I'm also going to tell you mine. Ebu anza na wewe. Mi ni heza kumbuka jio ushamba. Tuliko tumenda, I think it was in Eldoret. There's some work I was going to do over there. So tukenda kwa guest house ama guest room. And then showers kulikuwa na nini mbili. Moja ya majimoto, ingine ya majibaridi. But I never had an idea ati ini ya moto, ini ya baridi, right? So, ni kawasha ya baridi, so maji ilikuwa ina kuja baridi. Sindio? Ayo, ni kasema hii siwezi yoga na ayo. So, I went to the sink. Because sink pia ziku mbili hivi, but one was hot. Ilibidi, ni kachukwa socks. Ni kaziba hizo mashimo za sink. Maji kajia moto, na ni kawaga kwa sink. Kawaga kwa sink. Exactly. That was then. Your experience? I'm not saying you're being angry. Me remember the first time to use a lift. I'm trying to remember that because I'm courteous. Me mean I can't get any shame, bro. You're too weird. Kill him, Apana. After kill him, I'm not talking. 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 I'm Oh wow. <laughs> ah, si ukiingia kutoka. Si hapo kama unachangaikiwa open. Uh -huh. So I felt that's disrespectful. So I went to close. <laughs> Unaona kuishi funyula ni mbaya. Sasa <laughs> <laughs> mimi lift ile ya uh, inaitwa ile lift ya stairs. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. oh escalators. Ah, imenionyesha mambo. Lift. Forever tu lakini ina ku lift to the other point. I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like skeletons. You should really remember. I'm going to say my kind. 
Hii ni nini? Sasa mimi nilikuwa hadi nilikuwa nalia like. <laughs> Ulidaivia. Ha, ha. niliogona siku guza. Niliacha nilikuwa nalia la. Like, hey, naona wasa na panda wana smile na jinsi wanacheka. <laughs> Inaenda wapi? Kuna maji mengi inaenda, inaenda wapi? Hii ni ushamba tu baby. Let me tell you something. I don't like escalators not because of that, but because I'm traumatized. I there's this movie in Kenya called Final Destination. They yeah. released a series of movies. Mm -hmm. So one of the movies it was about death, like how vile msana ishia like a thousand ways to die kind of thing. So one of them ilikuwa escalator nzame mtu alipanda alafu they malfunctioned. So zikaendelea tu kuenda. So we yeah, are really bad to imagine. You I then you talk about Kichwa and that's why every time I see them like na ngaliyanga stairs unless ni 15th floor kama ni 5th floor tutatumia stairs kama ni 8th floors yeah. I don't watch horror movies. Unless you watch iPhone go radio baba yako utaka kujua watu gani wanaongea na radio. Zile viboko nimepiga juu ya radio usiulize. Kuna my friend. Mbuyu alikuwa anatuona viboko. Alafu TV ilikuwa Great Wall. Sasa kufanya kale channel ilikuwa tulikuwa channel five kwa inaitwa STV. Ilikuwa jina uchingi ball. Sasa mimi nilikuwa naenda kwa Manaiba na ona hiyo ndo wana watch. Nimesahau huko si kwetu. Kwetu ilikuwa ni KBC hivyo usitoe. Sasa mimi nimeka eh mwanzo nilikula beating. Yaani kita Kenya imechanuka. Kenya imechanuka tu. Ona siku chache mwanzo. I get to head place forward. Uh, uh, history and non sick. I know. All right, so um we have to unfortunately we have to go. Mm. It is time. Oh, I we haven't God. done all the stories. I think we spent a lot of time on the first story. Story Queen, you had yeah. a lot to say. So, yeah, let's sample some of the comments. Kido go to and then we oh. we got to go. But it's all good. Shout out to everybody that was tuned in, right? Okay, so I'm going to start right here. Um, <coughs> we have Unchampion. And say hi to Bantu. And I'm going to say hi to Aki and I'm going to say hi to Bantu. Wow. Hi. What about? No. You're going to Mama Chelsea. I'm going to hug you. Lala, you're my buddy. I'm telling you. We have Femen Zimboni. Shout out to you. Simon Simeon. That's my evening, guys. Tune in for me. Chuki technical, alafu mambia admin a repost yo proverbia he who digs a hole. But you want to attack some people, I'll talk to our admin, don't worry. We have Demi um Demi Kez page, you know, amazing. Thank you so much. We have Mchelsi Stanon, you know, Westland tuned, Naivasha Massive locked. Your name is Sam Manucho. MC Sam Kush, shout out to you. Uh, Waberua keyboard, always locked. Uh, thank you. Um, Nita Cherry, feeling Marco, I could. Mark, yeah, you could, Kazi. Mark, to tap on every Tuesday. Okay, we have Ibra, Kibra, and some band two points. Zako, who are lit because bra. Mm -hmm. And then I have Demis, uh, Demis, who are Americans watching from Kagema, Moranga County. Shout out to you, thank you, MC Sam Kush. Thank you, Miss, uh, Mr. Waziri, Salmiya, my fellow ghetto G. Uh -huh. Following the show, <laughs> Hilary Shinyabi and hello my people, hi Hilary. Was my Kakamega opposite Bushangala Technical Danny feeling Jin uh, Karibu. <laughs> always in miss. I'm always here. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Peter Kinaro Kijanam Digital KCC Malewa ki, uh, never shall uh, tuned. Biki Spice, Kama Kawaida, on some of Dani. Hi Philin, Salmia Bantu. <laughs> Leon on a Royce, I'm a bad delicious. <laughs> MC Sam Kush Pamaja, man like Jam Ray, shout out to you. We have had Masam Reggae, shout out to you. Limuru Reggae Finest, mad love to you. YST, Punasama, oh yeah, I'm Kwajem. Kitoka Mambia, how am I doing when you watch a violence? To matter about it. When you, what is happening on our socials? I have to go check. <laughs> Mr. T official, what can I say is what I can say is pastors should produce certificate of theology. Hmm? theology in Bible school, right? Mm -hmm. And then to uh, to show us that they they have enough knowledge mm. of the Bible, right? Kaka Al James Safi when I tuned in from Ninety Hills, shout out to you, my favorite. You guys look amazing. Loving the show. Thank you so much. And then we have someone else, uh Faustin Mary. Eman James, good evening. I'm enjoying the show. Thank you. We have Nakuru. Mazanga, Kihara, always amazing to see you. We have uh, Hearts of Production, Onasema uh, Kademan Wilson watching from Kikuyu, Kenya. Ambia Bantu Arudi Kwa Game. It's been long. You guys look great. Thank you so much. 
I, okay, yeah, you guys have something to say? <laughs> yes, I think someone is watching. Yeah. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Joy, I said hi. Joy is watching. She said hi. Really? I greet you guys. <laughs> and then also, I have one person that is Victor. We have uh, Masiketa. We have. Uh, it's a list. It's a list that I cannot be able to mention because of time. But anyway, guys, it's always nice um, uh, being here with you on Sunday. So let's just keep it locked. All right, thank you. <coughs> yeah, hey, Dicky Spice, Joe, Shukran, una tune in every show, bana. Zeflani, apo aliyongeni mgote Evans, Salimika sana, uyo jama wa Neskel Jini Bushangala, Salimika sana. Hilary. Yeah, Salimika sana, uyo unawatch kila wiki. Alafu, Sydney na familia na joe unawatch hapo mtani, joe wa Santeni. Kila mtu joe manzetu na wapenda. Sana, sana, sana. We appreciate, we appreciate you. Shout out to my mom. My mom is tuned in. Like, she's never home at this time, but yeah. <laughs> shout out to me, shout out to mom, shout out to Stein, shout out to, Stein. Shout out to literally ahead. just everybody that is tuned in. Oh, my Juma, working on a Sunday, thank you so much. Hilary, Asante Sana, Rose, there is Maurice, there is um, Yvonne, I think, I, I don't know who else, but it takes a village. What wing is Sana, they make sure the show comes to you. And then uh, RL, shout out to you, literally everybody. Oh, Bob Minor, Hetaraj, mm -hmm. for holding us down last week. Yeah. Who else? Shout out to Joy. Joy, yeah. Joy it's been a minute, my love to you. You guys have an amazing week. We'll see you again next week. Enjoy the rest of our shows. Njongelesha admin, sawa? Mad love to you. I love you. Bye. Boom, 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 boom.